You can save settings to your default settings or even name it as something else or you know name your settings something else and then apply them to your design. So I'm going to go in here and go to insert text. I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. We'll go ahead and press OK and generate the stitches. When I generate the stitches, it does go to default settings. I can see that right up here. It's got default because um, that's what I started with. So I'm going to right click, hold and drag, select the areas and now go to my stitch settings. So I can hit property settings icon up here. I can also hit the space bar. I'm going to left click here. And then um, I'm going to change some things within the satin. So if I go to underlay, you know, maybe I want to change my density of the underlay. I'll change the density. I'll apply that. Maybe if I want to add more underlay, um, if I want to change the pull compensation, I can certainly do that. I'm going to go here to the satin. I'm going to deselect the break long stitch and I'm going to change the density to 0.38. And once I do that and hit apply, I'll then hit save. Once I hit save, it'll ask me, okay, what file name do you want and where do you want it? Um, so the file properties or the settings are saved in the C drive. So I'm going to go to my Windows C drive. Then I scroll down to a folder called SuperTech. Double click to SuperTech double click IDS and then scroll down to properties double click to open properties if I want to save it to default I'm going to scroll down and find default you don't want to do it to the underscore default you want to do it to the default here and then I hit save I do want to replace it yes and then OK so let's right click off to the side to deselect I'm going to go to a new design default is already selected Again, I'm going to type in my name. Uh, it's already there just because it always defaults to the last thing you had in. Press OK and then generate. So if I right click on one of these letters, you can now see actually just down at the, the bottom of my page, this is 0.38 the density. And um, the other thing, if I go to the underlay, I did change the density of the underlay. So now it saves that as default settings. If I want different settings, um, so let me select the areas. I'm going to go ahead and go to my stitch settings. Um, I'm going to go to my pull compensation. I'm going to make that 0.55. Just to make things a little bit different, go to satin. Change that to 0.37. I'm going to apply that, and then I am going to hit save. It defaults to the last folder that was open, and I am going to name this Andrea. And I'll hit Save. And OK. I'm going to right click off to the side. I'm going to go to a new design. And under default, I'm going to type in Andrea. Hit Go. If I right click on something, here I've got my default settings. I'm going to go to another new design. I'm going to find Andrea right there left click on that then I'm going to enter in my text okay and generate and now if I right click you see my satin stitch is 0.37 millimeters um, and then if I go to the pull compensation remember I had increased that and that's how I save my settings um, if I want to right click hold and select and then change that to let's change that to default and go it changes it to the default so those are different ways that you can apply uh, your settings so you can select an area you can choose from here you know what setting you want and then generate and it'll change it to that setting or you can start off just with the setting you know uh, that you choose so I hope this helps let me know if you need anything else you can call me 636-724-6400 or you can email me at andrea at zskmachines.com.